Alright guys, I finally moved the batteries. The Nissan Leaf is out. Here it is, right now. Okay. So, Chrysler Pacifica is already in. I'm going to install the terminals and get them ready for charge. Stay tuned. There they are. They're set up here. And all the terminals are tight. All the terminals are tight and... Uh, no heat, nothing. The batteries are cooler, so connection is correct. And uh, those guys already disconnected. We're gonna fire up these guys and see how they're gonna hold up. No heat, no flames, or whatever. All right, stay tuned. Initial start. Powered up. The inverter is up. No heat. Nothing. Nothing. The voltage said is a 59.3 volt. Okay, so it says 100% because we interrupted the uh, uh, the FlexNet DC. Now we have to recharge the batteries and see how they're gonna hold up. Stay tuned, and I'll let you know when the process started. Well, guys, before we start the process. I'm going to make sure the settings are all correct and all the parameters are right. Then, uh, since I disconnected the entire battery bank and make sure that it didn't go to default, just a safety thing, double check, triple check, it's not a bad deal. Keep on um, checking instead of uh, you realize that you already done something wrong or this, these are machines, they can go back and go into reset mode, which um, you're going to end up being sorry you know instead of, you're gonna be losing instead of you say oh i'm sorry it's gone so i don't want any problems like that so i'm gonna be ch checking all the parameters all right guys everything seems to be good and okay we're gonna um, turn the switch and start charging the batteries terminal is still cool to the touch nothing and uh we like it that way all right we're gonna initialize the charge and stay tuned Subscribe and share. All right, at the initial from the grid, flashing, connecting, and it's gonna, it's gonna start pumping power back to the grid, uh, to the uh, batteries. There you go. The relay kicked in, and we're gonna be throwing about seventeen hundred watts into these batteries continuously. So the time is now. 19 28 hours so let's see how long this battery is going to charge see that's 1.7 kilowatt we put him back to the batteries right here at jw solar usa and we push in some power yo. so we put him in about uh 27 amps 27 amps it's coming in okay and we put him back 27 point 5.4.2 to the batteries so let's charge up this baby and see how the far they go same parameters just a little bit gotta hype them up a little bit so i can bring them to 66.8 um but they're gonna be fully charged at uh 60 uh 65.3 which is going to be the same with the Ford Focus, but I just want to, I turn the, um, I'm going to be turning the uh, equalization because the charge can go all the way up like that. So I have to turn the equalization to compensate for that. So it doesn't mean it's going to um, really destroy the batteries, like uh, fluoride acid batteries. Equalization is just stepping up the thing because the inverter is getting close to the max. And for this voltage I'm running right now into... Um, with the lithiums, it's supposed to be on a float. Oh, sorry, on a on an equalizing mode. If it's a fluoride acid battery, it's on an equalizing mode. So since we're only lithiums are very high, and we put in a 1600 watt, 16670, 1670, 1660, 27.7 amps back to the batteries. And we pull in the same from the grid. You see the input and the output. So we're sitting at 59.9. So these batteries were almost like uh, 
60 percent 65 yeah around 67 65 66 67 uh zero charge when they send them in all right okay here yeah, the bus bars cool to the touch no heat no smell oh i gotta put a temperature sensor here set up temperature sensor there let's check the battery's voltage again after that after this one's already charged and uh, i'm gonna charge those ones a little bit so that they can be 100 percent as well the same and parallel them together later but i want to run this one first individually to see how they can handle for tonight and tomorrow and solo is going to be on and see how everything's going to work i do not want to mix uh, batteries that uh, voltage is low it just came in i don't know how many amps left on there but it's like you, you can see that one is 59 point something and this one's here has been running on the system so i don't want voltage discrepancy that's why I'm, I'm charging them individually some of you guys would think why didn't i just put them all together and charge them there's going to be having a voltage discrepancy so they're going to they're not going to be balanced and uh, because of that i have to charge this individually since they came in new and they're going to be charging all the way all the way to the brim to the full to the top then i'm going to charge those ones again all the way to the top so that they know that they're all 100 percent then connect them in parallel for both tonight i'm going to just do this and see i see how this one's run okay let's check the voltage here on the batteries and see what we have all right, it's really hard on one hand, but um, guys uh, do the best. Good. All right, let's see. All right, guys, that's the voltage right now. It's a 58.9. So. This is the state of charge. This is the state of the batteries right now. Just on to it's trying to it's flicking to 59, so it's 58.9. They going up. Okay. All right. Um, I'll let you guys know. Still have the probes on it, and uh, you guys um, can see the voltage right there. And uh, I'll let you know how this battery uh, holds and um, how they perform, and I'll get back to you tomorrow. From Minnesota JW Solar USA. Thanks for watching and being part of this channel. And stay tuned for more to come as um, I'm presenting the Chrysler Pacifica batteries uh, to you guys and see how they work. We already proved those. We already proved these ones here. And this one's already proven as well. So we have to get this uh, Chrysler Pacifica past the test like any of these guys here before it's going to be part of the family all right no smoke no heat nothing no smell so that's what we want bye bye now subscribe and share all right guys uh, we are still charging the batteries you see we put in a 1.7 kilowatts constantly to the batteries and um it's getting to uh the point my set point which is a 66 point Eight. That's why I want the batteries to be um, charged to, and it's going to be sitting at um, uh, 60, 65.6. Just because these batteries, I just got them, and I want to make sure that they have the uh, proper charging. And these are 2017 Chrysler Pacifica, and. Uh, I want to make sure they all get in proper charge right here and uh, let's check how many uh, how much um, amp hours we already put in if you look at it we pour in uh, 2.854 2.8560 kilowatt hours 2860 kilowatt at 45 amp hours so it's 45 amp hours this total battery each battery is uh, uh 45 amp hours and um they're parallel together 
to give me a 90 amp hour battery bank at 48 volts nominal so we still put in about 23.6 23.6 amp hours to the battery constantly at uh, 1.7 kilowatt if I get back here you see 1.7 kilowatt no loads running in the house these are the batteries I'm gonna try tonight and run them and see how everything goes uh, see how their capability gonna bring them all the way um, to about 80 percent and it's gonna charge up tomorrow with the solar and whatever doesn't charge all the way to the top then I will do the same thing again bring them all the way to the top and I'm gonna do the Ford Focus all the way to the top so they all charged up and all equal then fire them up and get them all together and see how um, how far these batteries can take me and we're gonna be discussing about the Nissan Leaf batteries on my next video so guys stay tuned please subscribe and share um, the uh, meter is setting to the hundred percent because you know I interrupted it and because of that is reading at a hundred percent till everything pushed to the right voltage which is the 66 points eight so pretty soon it's gonna shut off okay all right so 46 amp hours we put into the battery so that means the batteries came uh, pretty much half empty because each battery is a 45 amp hours at 3000 watts which is a 3 kilowatt so I have a total of 6 kilowatt all right all right you guys see catch you in the next video so we put in already 2.9 kilowatt it's almost 3 kilowatt I believe this battery probably is this discharged almost one battery half and half so it's almost about 3000 watts is missing from the battery if you see it's getting there so it might probably pour about 3000 watts or 3 kilowatts into the battery at uh, 50 amps who knows stay tuned and see you on the next video subscribe and share from the command center JW Solar USA putting a 1.7 kilowatts into the batteries continuously this battery started charging at 730 and the time right now is seven, um, 933 so they've been charging approximately two hours from 730 to 930 so about two hours continuously at 1.7 kilowatts Here are the batteries. Here are the batteries. And here are the batteries. This one's already out. Ford Focus, I'm um, sorry, Volkswagen e Golf. These are the Nissan Leaf here. 8 kilowatts. Eight point five four four kilowatts, six kilowatts, which is the uh, Chrysler Pacifica, eight kilowatts, Ford Focus. So that gives me a thirty point five four four kilowatts of solar power storage, of lithium power storage, live here at the JW Solar USA in Minnesota. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. Subscribe and share to the video as you always do and stay tuned for more content coming your way, more updates on the lithium batteries. Bye for now.